So um, I put this in here as far as short-term and long-term goals, uh, because if you guys are, are like us, as far as working with our teachers, our homeroom teachers, our tier one teachers, and our academic interventionists in our buildings, you're probably going to run across uh, these discussions, whether it's in the hallway or each individual person by themselves, or maybe even inside of a data team meeting. Um, a lot of times, if there's not good collaboration, amongst these folks, um, then you're going to see some cracks in the RTI program. And so what I mean by that is a lot of time your homeroom teacher, and rightfully so, they're very focused on, sta on the standards-based approach. They want to have that checklist and say, okay, I've taught this standard, I've taught that standard, I have measured to see if my students have that standard, um, and I'm very focused on that particular grade level. Whereas your academic interventionist sees it from a different lens. They're celebrating those short uh, growth pieces, um, but they're also keeping those long-term goals because in many of our schools, our academic interventionists work with students for multiple years versus the classroom teacher that may just have them for that 180 days. So this is where the instructional coach in our building, but then also Ashley and Janice play a vital role because they're that bridge to help the tier one teacher and the academic interventionist both meet together and understand each other's goals uh, because we think it's important for our academic interventionists to understand what's being taught in tier one but we also want our, the tier one teacher to understand that yes the student may not be on grade level but easy cbm really helps us in that progress monitoring piece to show yes they're showing growth it just may be off grade level right now and yes, we want our students to make that growth. And a lot of times we talk to our academic interventionists about being superhuman, meaning they've got to make more than one year's growth in one year's time. Because if they don't make that one year's growth in one year's time, we're never going to be able to close that gap. 